Hi folks, this is GamerSecurity.org and today I would like to discuss CyberGhost VPN. Now, CyberGhost is more than just a fun name. It really does bring a lot of substance along with the pizzazz of the black and yellow. Now, if you have questions about what VPNs can do for you generally and what they cannot do for you, please check out some of our VPN explainer videos. But let's go ahead and dive into CyberGhost VPN. So just to give you an idea of what we're gonna talk about today when it comes to CyberGhost VPN, we're gonna hit you immediately with some pros and cons so you get an idea of what you're dealing with right off the bat. Then I'm gonna talk about some of those foundational elements of what makes a VPN a VPN in terms of encryption and protocols, where the company is headquartered, things of that nature. Then I wanna talk about the core features that we've come to expect from VPN. So what we wanna see and hopefully some things that they're doing that we haven't seen. And then from there, we're gonna jump into a look at the mobile application so you can get a little bit of a walkthrough and then I'll round it out with some thoughts on what our experience was like with CyberGhost VPN. Now, when it comes to pros, I want to start with the fact that they give you seven devices. So seven devices you can use your CyberGhost VPN on, uh, which is more than usual. It's typically about five devices, and that seems to be creeping up. Some people have been doing 10 these days, but generally speaking, uh, seven is a solid number of devices to be able to use it simultaneously. Now, in addition to that, it is a very expansive international network. CyberGhost may be one of the most expansive, if not the most expansive, in terms of servers available available uh, to the user. So they're really killing it in that regard. And finally, you get all of that and it's rather affordable. It's probably one of the more affordable VPNs out on the market today. When it comes to cons with CyberGhost, the main one I'm thinking about is the logging policy. As you can see here, they do keep a little bit more uh, than when we would like uh, when it comes to you using the VPN. So that's the one thing I would note about CyberGhost. All right, so now we're talking about some of those foundational elements of a VPN. Now, with CyberGhost, a main thing we have to talk about right off the bat is that it is headquartered in Romania. Now, I talked to some of my Romanian friends here in Brooklyn, and they kind of tried to explain to me why Romania is so big for cybersecurity. They just said, you know, culturally it became a thing, computers, you know, servers, uh, things of that nature, people trying to get around, uh, you know, what the government was like at a certain time. So that kind of became just a, a common theme in the culture. And that's why you know, or maybe have heard of kind of the, the prowess, if you will, of Romania when it comes to cybersecurity. So it's kind of cool that CyberGhost is based there. A quick note, however, they were bought by an Israeli company, but the Israeli company did say that they're going to maintain all operations in Romania, but that is something uh, to keep in mind. Now, despite being in Romania, they are very expansive. I mean, they have over 6,900 servers and 112 different locations across 90 countries. So I think that's the most servers at the very least, maybe if not countries, uh, servers that we've seen from any VPN here at security.org. As for encryption, CyberGhost does use AES 256-bit, so that's not a concern of ours. We are into uh, what they're doing in terms of encryption. That's the standard top of the line. And now let's jump into a bit I've been waiting to use for a really long time, Mission Impossible Cyber Ghost Protocols. And with that, we really like what they're bringing to the table because they have the constant, the always, the open VPN, which gives you a lot of different configurations, you know, your LT2P, your IPsec, but most importantly, CyberGhost wants to keep you quick and wants to give you that option. So they also have WireGuard. So WireGuard is an option when it comes to Mission Impossible Cyber Ghost Protocols. Now that we've talked about the infrastructure of CyberGhost, let's jump into those core features that we've come to expect from the top VPNs on the market. And of the four that we wanna begin with, we're gonna talk about Kill Switch. And yes, there is a Kill Switch in CyberGhost, so your data is not gonna be exposed, you're gonna be safe, you're gonna be ready to go. Then I wanna talk about torrenting, and you can torrent quite well with CyberGhost. Uh, they make it really easy, you know, various servers are there just for you to you know, jump in on a torrent. And then we have to talk about streaming services. And in this case, uh, if you're an anime fan, like typically you can jump into Crunchyroll, um, the you know popular US streaming services are all available for you using CyberGhost, which is always great. And finally, you have split tunneling. So the fourth one would be split tunneling. And split tunneling does work with CyberGhost. And when you do that, you're basically allowing certain sites 
to go through the public tunnel, if you will, when it comes to the internet versus the private tunnel, which is of course um, you being in a VPN. Now, the final thing I want to jump into briefly when talking about features is the fact that CyberGhost was the first company, or so they say, the first company um, to actually publish a transparency report because they said, you know what? Uh, our consumers, our customers need to understand uh, what we do and how we operate. And so they've been publishing that and it has, you know, reflected really well on them as a company. You know, we talked about the things that we're a little bit worried about when it comes to logging policy, but, you know, that has not been reflected in anything um, actually coming out in the way that we've seen with a lot of other companies. All right, so now that we've gone over those core features and some special elements with CyberGhost VPN, let's jump into some testing. So first we went and did a DNS leak test and a WebRTC leak test. And you can see from both of these tests uh, that we did not have any leaks, good to go, no problems there. All right, so we've done a few tests. We've done some, some leak tests for DNS, for WebRTC, and you'll note that we did pretty well with CyberGhost, no leaks in either way, but we have to do the fun test, the speed test, the Olympic test. And with that, I always start with the baseline. And this time when I had my baseline, I was getting 265 megabits per second download and 246 megabits per second upload. So really great speeds uh, in this particular moment. So I immediately jumped in and tested it with CyberGhost in New York City and got almost comparable speeds when it came to download. So I was getting 250 megabits per second download and 188 megabits per second upload. So pretty solid speeds with CyberGhost in New York. But of course I had to go to Venezuela, you know, uh, see what was going on down there. And I had 199 megabits per second download and I got 37 megabits per second upload. So significant, tremendous drop off from the upload speed, but still pretty good. I mean, 199 megabits per second download, pretty solid. Then I was like, well, let's head on over to Southeast Asia. And here I went to Phnom Penh in Cambodia, and I was able to get 206 megabits per second download. So again, pretty astounding speed and 52 megabits per second upload. So better than Venezuela, uh, but you know, far from what we're getting here in New York uh, from CyberGhost, but that's to be expected. Then I went ahead and jumped into Europe and the Denmark, I was able to get 218 megabits per second uh, download speed and 83 megabits per second upload speed. So Denmark doing well, CyberGhost really impressing me um, with the speeds that I was able to get. Of course, I do have to state that anytime you're doing speed tests, it's going to be really based on around a lot of variables, a lot of factors. So check out how it works for you individually, uh, you know, with a trial or money back guarantee or something like that. All right, so we've gone through a lot now with CyberGhost, but we would like to just go ahead and do a mobile application walkthrough. And you're looking at me connected to Brussels, Belgium right now. Let's go ahead and get out of there. But before we get out of there, actually, let's look at what you can see. You get a little bit of information on the upload and download. You can see what configuration I'm using. And in this case, I'm using WireGuard. Now, WireGuard, very solid. Um, it's one of the faster and still secure protocols out in the market. So let's go ahead and check out the settings. Now, when it comes to VPN settings, uh, you can go ahead and decide to add a dedicated IP. You know, you can decide uh, if you want to activate small package sizes. Uh, you can look at what you've got going on in the Wi-Fi arena. So a few different options uh, just in settings. But the main event, as with anything, is just being able to see uh, what's going on uh, in any place you want to be to. So if I want to switch over to another spot, I can do so. I go to Belgium. And then I can decide on what country. So if I want to go to Bulgaria, if I want to go to Denmark, Egypt, France, let's go to France and see how that works. So now I'm in Paris, see WireGuard again. Uh, you can decide how your connection's going. So I want to jump into something, speed test it. I can, you know, to say, you know what, this one's working or this one's not working. Also with CyberGhost, you can see what's going on in your various spaces. So the upper right-hand corner uh, is my Wi-Fi network. And you can basically say, hey, do I want to, um, you know, have an action for this Wi-Fi? Don't want to always ask me, don't want to terminate the connection, never protect. Um, a lot of different spaces there. But let's jump into my favorite part of CyberGhost, which are the various locations. So if I decide, okay, let's jump out of there, connect. Look at this. I can go into streaming 
This is major. Now, this is basically allowing you to just decide exactly what you want to jump into. So if I want to be streaming Netflix Italy, um, you know, work on my Italian, watch some, you know, 1992 or 1993. I actually don't know if those are on Italian Netflix because I already bought them a long time ago. But you uh, can decide what you want to do. If you want to watch Lupin, uh, you know, uh, from the actual French, uh, you know, uh, Netflix or something, uh, you can make that decision. Uh, you can jump into Crunchyroll. So if you're a big anime head and you're happen to be abroad and you're like, I need to get into my Crunchyroll. Well, you can do that with this element. So this is really um, something that sets Cyber goes apart from many of its competitors. It's the fact that it has so many different streaming options available for you directly in the mobile application, directly uh, in a lot of spaces, but we're showing you now on iPhone. So you see, muy impresionante. So this is definitely my favorite part of CyberGhost, something we definitely wanna make sure you capture. Probably the most important part of this entire mobile application walkthrough is showing you how cool that element is. So this is definitely one of the reasons why CyberGhost is one of our top VPNs. I mean, this element of the mobile app alone is a, is a game changer. Uh, it's, a, it's a game breaker. Uh, anything you wanna think about in that sense, this is what CyberGhost does in mobile. So that's our look at the mobile application for CyberGhost VPN. All right, we've gone over a lot today regarding CyberGhost VPN, and I just wanna give you my final thoughts. And you know, this is rather personal for me, you know? And I like the fact that it allows me to pick servers based on not simply location, but what I'm fixing to do. So if I'm trying to get into a little torrenting, I can pick something for that. If you know someone I know would like to use some kind of streaming service, you know, not necessarily what I'm always using mine for, but I like that I can have that option. Uh, additionally, you can have it protect you on you know, unfamiliar Wi-Fi networks, and you can set up exceptions, which is basically their idea of split tunneling um, for things that you would like to use that public space for. Uh, and that's great. I can spell it always using X, Y, and Z on the public network, and I don't have to worry about uh, anything with a VPN. And while it was recently bought by a country within those surveillance alliances, which, you know, always makes us a little uh, wary. Um, I do think that it's still a really solid and safe option uh, for your VPN, and I simply hope that they don't prove me wrong. All right, so that's our look at CyberGhost VPN. I hope it was useful. I hope you're able to find the VPN that's gonna work for you and your family. And if you appreciated today's video, maybe you know, give us a like, comment on the page, let us know what you thought, and even potentially subscribe to security.org where we're bringing you the newest in home and digital security each week. Now, my name is Gabe. This is security.org. Be secure.